All right, here we go, guys. Thursday, uh, four down, one to go. Quick week. Y'all know what time it is, guys. It is the first NFL game of kickoff of this season. Kansas City versus the Houston Texans. Houston Texans versus Kansas City. Whatever. But uh, I will watch it because it's. I want to see how it's going to go, how, how it's going to be with it. I don't know if they're going to have fans. I know every state is different. Uh, so I know California is not, when we play the Rams, I don't think there are going to be any fans in the, in the stadium. And I, I want to see how the teams, as well as the players, react to that because having fans is a big difference. The energy, the energy in the stands, whether they're cheering or booing, there's nothing like it. That gave me motivation to get out there and see those fans, man, when I play football on different levels, man. It's nothing like fans, man. Like, seriously, they make and break games. Seriously. Uh, a lot of times with kicking field goals, fans are ah yelling. You know, just the energy, just the positive or negative energy, man. It just makes the game, man. I don't care what you're playing, basketball, football, hockey, baseball, badminton, pinatello, and donkey. It's always good to have those fans out there. But anyway, guys, you know what? I am so glad I did not watch that damn Mike McCarthy press conference earlier today. I didn't watch it. I didn't want to. I got the alert on my phone. I was like, ah, I just, I, I damn near threw my phone out the window. Cause I'm just, I'm not, I'm not falling for it anymore. They're not going to give us what we want. And if, if that's, is that a good thing or a bad thing? To, to a certain extent, it's a good thing that they're not giving us what they want because it, it keeps us in suspense. Uh, as far as who's going to play this Sunday, who's hurt, who's, they've already kept all these injuries in the dark this whole off season, man. Amari Cooper, Lyle Collins. These injuries are worse than what we thought. Amari Cooper said he's good to go. We'll see. Uh, Jordan Lewis is probably not going to play. And others, man. So they've been hiding these injuries, you know, and they've been able to get away with it because we had no preseason, nothing to go off of. You get what I'm saying? So uh, they've been able to hide behind closed doors and everything. But I'm just glad I didn't watch it. I'm not watching. I'm not putting any more of my energy into press conference. Even when the season starts, I'm not putting any more energy into press conferences. You know why? Because I want to have my own press conference. I'm going to have my before, my, my halftime, and my post-game, uh, my pre-halftime and post-game press conferences myself. So I don't need press conferences from coaches, from secretive coaches that don't want to give us anything. I'm not giving the coaching staff, the players, the fans, Cowboy Nation, Cowboy fans out there, if you cheer for the Cowboys, you're a Cowboy fan. Whoever you are, whatever you are, I'm not giving nobody the satisfaction to tell me in the comment section, well, 1980, uh, it's, it's good that we don't have a, a coach that tells us everything and tells the world everything because we don't want to give away any, you know, I'm just tired of that shit, man. So, you know, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not, from here on, no more press conferences for night unless we win, a, unless we're going to the playoffs or we win a Super Bowl. That's the only type of press conference I, I, I'm going to watch. And that's the bottom line because 1980 said so. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holla back to your boy. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is.